Hi, in the last lecture, we have implemented we have created a function import that is get unreleased, and the job of this function import was to select all the records from the database table, which is our header table. Select all the records which are not released. Now next, now we'll implement the post method. The job of post method will be to set the release status to this particular order. So go back to our OLTA project and before creating the function import, this time we'll create a new entity type which will give back the message to the front end system whether it is release or fail, that is success or error message. So before creating function import, we'll create a entity type here. Go to change mode, right click, create entity type, give the name as SOS status entity set not required but just create an entity set also here click on properties click on append row so first is VBELN VBELN will be the key field set EDMS string and the max length is 10 and the level will be as a number and the and by field name is VPELN and the second field as type whether it is success or error this will be char1 a single field I'm taking as 1 let's say status and one last field I required as a message which I want to pass back to the front end system that is message I can have type idiom underscore string and let's say the length is 200 and you can give any label he must give as message save so here I have created the SOS status as my entry type save and check no error now before generating okay let's generate the runtime object first After creating this entity type, we'll create the function import. Again, go to data model, create function import, and we'll give the name as update underscore status function import name. Here in the return type, select the entity type, and this time I'm going to return the SOS status. And in this case, there will be always one record. Whether it is success or fail, will give at least one record in the output. So as it is only one record, so we cannot select any entity set here. System will not allow to select any entity set because this is only the single entity. So we cannot select any entity set here because we are returning only the one record, single record. And the HTTP method will be the post. Save. Now, to update the status, I require two variables. One is the sales order number. This is the first one. And second is the status, which I want to set the value. So for that, in the function import parameter, append row, my first field is VBELN. The ADM code will be ADM string and the length is 10 and my field name is VPELN and my second field will be let's say the A status this will be either approve APP or reject REJ so for this I'm going to select max length as 3 the A status and uh, as a number so in the function import update underscore status, I have created two importing parameter VBELN and the status. Click on generate and time objects. So after this, again we need to go back to our DPC extension class, read those parameters from the URI and set the required logic. Go to runtime object, DPC extension class. 
executing the selection and this time the last one we'll add one more here when that is update underscore status now here we need to read two variable so for that first we'll declare the variable here let's say lb underscore vp eln of type vp eln and second field i want as char3 lb underscore status so we'll just say as char3 and in the return type i want to set our new entity type as return for that i will write js underscore status so type our MPC extension class because the data declaration model declaration we can read from the MPC extension class. Here we have ES underscore SOS status. Now read the parameter. So first I will read the cell order number with the field name as VP ELN. And if the value is not initial, first use the conversion exist alpha input again for the SO number. By default, use the conversion exist alpha input because most of the time from the front end system, we cannot get the leading zero. So before, before this, I will assign the value to the LV underscore VB ELN here that is GS underscore parameter value and we are assigning this value to the LV underscore VP ELN which is a local variable LV underscore VP ELN here and after this, we read, we read a second value, second variable, copy the as it is. And this time, read the second variable as status. If the value is not initial, assign this here. Okay. Save check and activate no error to this point now here we'll check if lv underscore vp ELN is not initial and lv underscore status is not initial else and if copy the same data reference But this time, here we'll pass the GS underscore status No error. In the else part, just write GS underscore status message equal to pass the required parameters. Now, to say sort of number for the status pass, we need to update the VPAK table. So we write here update set of VPAK set status equals to LV underscore status where VPLN equals to LV underscore VP ELN. If size of RC equal to zero, write the else part. Here 
here we type gs underscore status vpln equals to lv underscore vpln gs underscore status type will be success and message will be let's say concatenate sales order okay no need to concatenate in real time you can pass the exact message message equal to sales order is it as updated successfully this is in case it is success and in case it is error what we can do here will change this to error error while updating the status in real time we need to write a meaningful message so that the end user by just reading the message they can understand what is the error or whether it is success or error okay so what i have done here first i am checking whether the iv action name is update underscore status then first i am reading the vp ln as a number and the status and then i am updating the required sales order and I'm setting back the status with the entry tag gs underscore status and from here we're passing back to the front end system so check if any error no error activate just cross check whether the breakpoint is set or not go back activate the class and once we implement the function import metal first come out of the complete projects and log in again this is the better approach expand this service maintenance right click maintain yes it's a picket with client again first check the metadata execute this time after the get unrelease there is the last one return type is as here this is the last one function input that is update underscore status and we have the status and the vpln as an importing parameter okay and the return type here is zk old data service hyphen so status now I remove this here right complete underscore status just after our service name with the question mark pass the SO number VBELN equal to so let me select the second one that is the third one that is the order number 12 and what I will do I will remove the zero from the URL I'll pass only 12 and to add a second variable we need we need to add the anchor sign and give the second variable name that is a status equal to approve fine so after the service name we need to pass the function import and by adding a question mark add the variable with the values on this time if you select the get method and press enter, system will give the error method not implemented because this is the post method. That's why we need to select here the post and then click on execute or press enter. So now we can see the breakpoint is triggered. Check the iv underscore action name that is update underscore status f5. Yes, check the it underscore parameter table. So one is status and second is VBELN, the order number 12, press F5, read the first one, 
this value is 12 order number 12 conversion exists alpha input so here we can see the latent zero added by the system second one the state is approved the table size of rc equal to zero pass the message copy data reference press f8 so here you can see the status code is 200 and in the return you can see the message type is success and the sales order is sales order is status updated successfully now just go to table and refresh so here you can see it for the order number 12 we have the value set as app that is approved now let's try one more so what we'll do we'll pass some value which is not there so let's say 65 number is not there so what i will do here in the same i will just pass the order number as 65 and press enter press f5 f6 so here you can see the order number is 65 So this time size of us equal to 4 so we can write a meaningful message like the sales order not found press f8 so here you can see the message type is e that is the error and here the message is error while updating the status so in this way we are done with a session on implementing of function method uh, function import with the post method so we are done with get as well as the post method. So in this way, we done with a session on function import. Thank you.